The nine patch quilt block is a traditional quilt block that is still very popular even with modern quilters. It is easy to do and versatile for many different designs and today I'm going to show you two different methods to make this block. Welcome to Eva De Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful quilting, pajagi and embroidery. Today, I'm going to show you two different methods for making the nine patch quilt block and explain how you would know which method to choose for your project. This block consists of nine squares in a three by three layout. Commonly, it is made with alternating colors, but it can be made in any combination you like. The first method for making the nine patch block is by just sewing nine squares together. And this is a perfect method if you're going to use up scraps or if you're making blocks that have a variety of different colors in them. And all you need is nine squares of an identical size and they can be any size that you want. It doesn't matter. So I'm making a 12 inch block. So that means these squares have to be four and a half inches. And just remember that the more accurately you cut your pieces, the easier it will be to put everything together. Lay out the squares in the orientation that you want. To make it easier, lay them out close to your sewing machine. The more you move them before sewing, the easier it is to get things turned the wrong way. Begin with joining the right and center squares with a quarter inch seam allowance. Taking the time to figure out an accurate seam allowance will make everything easier. I like to use a piece of tape on my machine to help keep everything straight. Once those pieces have been joined, press the seams. Set the seams by pressing the iron on the seams before opening. Then open the seam, pressing the seam allowance so that it goes under the darker fabric. Join the last piece onto the rows and then join the rows together. Because you press the seam allowances to the dark side, the pieces will nest together and make it easier to join. If everything worked out perfectly, your block should be 12 and a half inches square. That means the finished size is 12 inches. The other method for making nine patch blocks is called strip piecing. And this method is particularly helpful if you need to make a whole bunch of identical nine inch blocks for your project. For this technique, you will cut strips the entire width of the fabric instead of cutting squares. The strips will be the size of the squares you would need. I am making a six inch finished block, so I want two and a half inch strips. Join the strips together into groups of three. One group will have the dark fabric on the outside and the other group will have the light fabric on the outside. Take your time stitching these strips together and be careful with the seam allowances. You want a quarter inch seam allowance all the way along. Press the seam so that the seam allowances go under the darker fabric. Once these strip sets are joined, we will subcut them into little strips. These will also be the size of the squares, so mine are two and a half inches wide. You can see that these are now the rows that will be used to make the blocks. Join them together just like we did previously. So here's your finished strip piece block. And from the finished block, no one will be able to tell which construction method you use to make it. You should be familiar with both construction methods, but the one that you choose for your project is really up to you. If you are making a whole bunch of identical blocks, then strip piecing will save you a lot of time in putting them together. If you're making a bunch of different blocks, then you'll put individual squares together. So the method you choose might change depending on what your project is. For ideas for using nine patch block in a quilt, get my nine patch inspiration workbook. This book will have sample quilts that use nine patch blocks to give you ideas. And it has coloring pages to help you to be able to design your own. For this and other quilting tutorials and inspiration, check out my website, evadastudio.com. Mm -hmm.